Hello and welcome back to Universal Love Law. Today I'm going to be doing the video for Sun Sextile Mercury. So if you have this in your chart, it is known to be a graceful, harmonious aspect. But I really want to put an emphasis on understanding that, that everything that is harmonious comes with its set of challenges as well. So I'll focus on that today. So let's start off with the sun being our sole purpose, our actions, what we go after in life, how we're seen in character that's developed. So it's a very common energy that's being projected, meaning it's being projected consistently day in, day out. Sometimes we switch into our moon. Sometimes we switch into our ascendant, especially when we're having some aspects that are transiting and affecting our sun sign um, or Mercury in this case. So, but the sun is consistently being active as well as the Mercury. So if you have a sun sextile Mercury energy is going to be very prominent um, and consistent in your chart, depending on the element, the modality, it's very important to know that so that you know how your sun is playing out and how the sextile is going to be manifested. But in general, when it comes to your Mercury, that's the way you think your thought processes, your intellect, your communication style, so on and so forth. So that being in a sextile to your sun will create a harmoni harmonious aspect within your chart. So it's a very useful aspect, meaning you can tap into a sextile energy. There's opportunities that can be created within the sextile energy. Um, and there's a lot of motivation, whereas the trine is stronger, but it can make a person extremely laid back in their approach and deliverance and their actions towards communicating and relating to others and getting their points across and developing full thought processes, thinking for themselves, all of those things. There can be a very lax approach with the trine, whereas the sextile, there can be a motivation. So a sextile between sun and mercury can make a person extremely motivated to do things when they are in the midst of having conversations with others or if they're working on in school or if they're working on a project or if they're just thinking about planning how they're going to get their groceries and pay their bills and do regular things there's a motivation and a can do energy uh, ability to focus your mind into achieving and getting things done because the sun deals with our daily actions whereas the mercury deals with our thoughts so it's always in consistency it's always in um, accordance with one another so there's a lot of creative energy in the sextile between mercury and the sun so these people can be extremely creative individuals it's the only thing is they, they can produce results, but they have to sometimes have a, um, people that can encourage them. They, they definitely like to collaborate. These people can be really depending on the sign that the sun and the sextile energy between Mercury and sun is. It depends on the sign, of course. It depends on the element, right? water, earth, air. But in general, generally speaking, these people work very good in communicative efforts between groups because they have very unique and creative ideas. So they can they can exchange energy with others and create things that can be very beneficial to the group. And they have the ability to start something it's all about finishing with the sextile. So the challenge can be um, the lack of motivation can occur once your ideas are in action. It's like, okay, now what? Because it's a it initiates productive reactions between the sun and the mercury. So you may start to write down what you're going to do, or you may start to think about how you're going to get things done. But it's and it's a very strong energy, like, I can do this. Or even for people who are in more in creative energy or people who create content, 
people who create music, people who create anything that deals with the mind, um, lessons, teachers, all of these things. It can be very harmonious and helpful for this dynamic, but it can be a challenge to keep it going. So there's like the spark of energy, the sextile creates a creation energy, an idea to want to do things. These people can have a lot of big ideas, but it's all about producing the results is where the challenges can fall into place. Whereas um, other energies that are more friction, it'll it'll cause a person to have a lot of self-talk to forcing themselves to finish projects. Whereas the sextile energy will make a person have these big ideas and may not finish them or may not complete them to their entirety. And so it's really important for when opportunities are presented that the sun sextile Mercury person takes action towards that opportunity and is aware that this opportunity can start big and finish small or can start big and finish big as well or even start small and finish big. It's really important for a sun sextile Mercury person to know that the results really depend on how much sun energy they're putting in, meaning how much action they're putting in to the thought processes, meaning the research or the deliberate thinking, the deliberate, the, excuse me, the deliberate thinking that creates the beginning, middle, and end, okay, from start to finish. So working together, the dynamic can be very helpful, very creative, very uh, beneficial to groups and even individual projects that a person may be very uh, inclined to feeling the desire and the motivation to creating. But it can also make a person start things and not finish them. So especially if they're doing things on their own. There's a lot of opportunities that are always coming up because the Mercury energy and the sun energy are in constant um, action. You're always using your mind. You're always active, right? So you're always using your actions to assert yourself in the world, whether even if you're at your home or all alone, like you're always doing something. So you're, there's always opportunities for growth, but it needs to grow and it needs to be more. The sextile between the sun and Mercury must have a strong desire to create and see it through to its very end um, and to reap all the benefits of the creation amongst the two energies. So I hope this video has been helpful. Of course, the sextile energy is different in everyone's chart. Um, thank you so much for tuning in to Universal Love Law and peace.